Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we get a chance to talk to somebody at KetoCon who Rachel has a little bit of a crush on. And we'll find out who that is right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So when we went out to KetoCon, we got to meet some different like YouTubers, Instagrammers. I guess like, you know, you can call them like influencers within the keto community. People that we watch every single day, yep. every week after week. I mean, people that have just kind of become, you know, part of our lives and we enjoy watching. We enjoy their Instagram, you know, posts. We enjoy their videos that they upload. And, you know, honestly, just the prospect of getting to meet some of these people that are a part of our daily lives, right. like that was just really exciting. And some of them are people that like we've actually chatted with like on Instagram and where it's like you got there and like you said like they have a bottom half yeah like you don't even know about serious but like some of them are, and some of them are just people that we've been watching that we've never really talked to right but it was just really interesting to see all of these different people but of all the people when we were going out there that you knew were gonna be there mm -hmm. okay now I'm not talking about the speakers like Dr. Barry and Thomas DeLala but just like the regular YouTubers and stuff who were you most excited to meet? I was very excited to meet Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto. So was I. I wanted like a real life hug from her because um, I just admire her so much and I enjoyed the challenge that we did together and it was not disappointing in the least little bit to get to meet her because she's so authentic. She's so just precious. Like I just, I loved it and... And that was really, you know, a check off my bucket list. Yeah, I was super excited to meet her, especially after having done the challenge, because we'd never met her before. We'd only chatted on Instagram. And I'm really upset with myself, and sorry for you guys, that we did not, like, film ourselves with her. No. Like, for a little interview, like, we did everything else. But, you know, what happened was... We got out there on Friday, and as soon as we walked in, we started talking to people. We, we didn't make it down the first aisle of the booze before we turned around, and it was 5 o'clock. Yeah. And then on day two, we tried to get a little bit further, and we were talking to people. And I think we were so starstruck, and I don't know why, because everybody was just like an average person Very who wanted to, to be down to earth and hug you. We were afraid to go up and ask people. Like, I remember seeing, like, Thomas DeLawler, and I'm like, oh, I want to go talk to him. And I'm like, oh, he's not going to want to talk to us. We're, like, nobodies, right? Uh, yeah, but, you know, we need to get out of that mindset. Yes. Right? Like, I mean, we are children of God, right? Like, I, we need to have a little bit more, like, courage. Yeah, and they were... And I everybody's mean, nice. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, is that, like, this was our own thing. It, I don't want anybody to think that, like... Oh, well, like, you know, Thomas DeLawler wouldn't talk to them or it was we were afraid to go up and ask them, but they would have been more than willing to. More and it wasn't happy. until like day three that we got the courage to be like, oh, these are all really nice people. We just yeah. didn't know it at first. There was nobody that was not nice. Like yep. every single person was completely approachable. Uh, completely loving and and very welcoming. And so. it, unfortunately, on day three, by the time we got that courage, a lot of people had left or they were speaking. Yeah. And we didn't get a chance to. So, but I know who another person is that you were really excited to be. I have such a crush on Erin from High Fat High Fun. Sarah's gonna get mad at you. I know she has. She has no, like, threat with me. Like, have you seen her? Have you seen Sarah? Like, she's a hottie patati. So, like, yeah. I mean. But it was very exciting, like, the prospect of him getting to be there and me getting to just, you know, honestly just thank him. Right. Like, thanks for bringing so much joy and so much, like, laughter into our lives. Because we do enjoy especially watching, you know, Sundays with Sarah. It's kind of a routine for us you know, on Sunday afternoons to kind of just enjoy that program. And I, I was looking forward to the opportunity of just, like, 
saying like, hey, thank you for what you do. I was looking forward to meeting Aaron because like I've just, I've talked to him back and forth on Instagram a lot and you know, we kind of started keto at the same time, although he got the nerve up to start his channel before we did. Yeah. And I've been watching Aaron since he had 100 subscribers. He's amazing. And he's just an awesome guy. He's really been encouraging to us. And we did get a chance to meet up with him. So why don't we take a look? Look who I found! Hi, Rachel. Yay! How you doing? It's 80 Keto. What's up, guys? High fat, high fun. He's Aaron. always going to be 80 Keto to me. I know. That's the thing. Oh That's just the name of the channel. The only thing that has changed is the name of the YouTube channel. Everything else. We got into same. a giant fight this morning because it is Sunday and we have to leave. And Joe's like, get in the car, woman. And I'm like, no, I got to watch Sunday's with Sarah first. Please. It's a shorter one this week. I know. So it was totally worth it. So I don't care. Add that bill on hotel. Take that, Marriott. Like, we, we've got to finish it. Or, like, I can't start my Sunday. Yes, I will pay for that internet upgrade. Seriously. So, what have you enjoyed? Like, what's your what's your favorite bite that was like unexpected? I didn't have very many bites the first couple days. Yeah, you were still on a you were still on a cut, right? I waited until the end of the day to like try many things. I, I didn't try many things, but what I did try waited till like the really toward the end of the day. Fat Fit, Fat Fit Go has a nut butter that's like a strawberry mint salt thing or we something got like that. that. The other night, oh my that. gosh. Awesome. It, it kind of broke my head. I don't understand how it tasted like it does. It's so great. And then this nut butter too right here is super fat. Also super has, fat. So I haven't tasted a whole lot of stuff other than those two nut butters on the show floor. I tried uh, some of the pulled pork from Alterna Sweets, which was incredible uh, with some of their newly formulated barbecue sauce on it. And just been walking around. The thing, the highlight to me really has been like meeting people and hanging out with people who have yes. only existed like in my phone. Yes, um, we haven't like even you gotten. Guys. You have a bottom half. I do. That that's is a, amazing. I think I stole that. I told. I said that. To, I heard you say that the other day. I was like, that's pretty funny. I'm totally ripping. I up. love that. Um, yeah, you have you have legs. You um, have and you have and you have long legs, sir. No, it, it. I will tell you this. I'm tall, but I'm all torso. Like my legs are kind of stubby, and I'm all torso. People say, "Wow, you got long legs." My mom, just. Why not? Yeah. My, my mother, when I was a kid, you know, when I was like 11, 12, she'd buy me pants and she'd think, she thought my legs were long. And she's like, why am I always hemming your pants? These are, these are weirdly sized pants. It took her like, I don't even know if she still knows. My legs are not long, mom. I'm a, a, a 32 inseam. Uh, just, and I'm, I'm the opposite. I buck, I have to I'm buckle my pants around my neck. I have like throat pants. I have throat legs. It's just a head and then legs. It's like weird. <laughs> Okay, so what about the pink yogurt? I know you got to, you got to try it. I love them. I didn't try it here, um, but I was so excited to meet uh, Mimi and Evan over there because they're so cool. And they let they uh, invited me to be part of their uh, commercial that they, just, that they just put out. Yay! They were like, hey, can, can you send us a clip of that review you did? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. And they put it out, and it's so great. They did such a great we're job We're jealous. On it. We can't get it delivered in Florida. I know. I, know. I told them we are moving. gave me a cup of it yesterday. I'm like, I'm not sharing this. Yeah, you got to load up on it here. Suck it down while you can. You need to go try their savory. She yeah. puts, maybe puts like the olive oil on it. I haven't oh, tried yeah. that. Is that amazing? I haven't tried that yet either. Gotta go try it. We'll try it. All right, guys. See you Thank, later. You. Thank you so much. So if you watch Aaron's channel, you know he comes off as a super nice guy on video. Well, I'm going to tell you, he is that nice in person. Spoiler alert, it's for real. Yeah, he's just a super nice guy. Now, if you're not watching his channel, I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to go subscribe to his channel. Fix I'll leave this. a link over Rachel's head. Correct this error, yeah. right? Because if you like watching our channel, you're definitely going to like watching Aaron and Sarah. I mean, they are just awesome people. They have some like great knowledge. Aaron really puts out some good content. So make sure you go check out his channel. And Aaron was so cool that he completely overlooked the fact that like when I met him I kind of was like you know Chris Farley in Tommy Boy ordering chicken wings like I'm like I'm so excited to meet you like can I smell your hair and it was like mm, no <laughs> you can't smell my hair but yeah no he totally rolled with it thank you well that is our video for today hopefully you guys have enjoyed like these little like vlog things that we've gotten from KetoCon I can't wait for next year's. We get to meet some other people, and at least now next year, we will know that it is okay to go it's up okay. and talk to different influencers within the keto community. Go talk to people. So, and I want to say, Aaron, thank you for all of your help, all of your guidance that you've given us, like as we've worked on building our channel, little suggestions you've given us for just for talking to us, for taking a moment to talk to us at KetoCon. Um, if you guys did like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.